Another question we had is about joint pain in postpartum. Is this something that's normal, something that, you know, could be related to the pregnancy or maybe an unrelated issue? I mean, let's think about this. In most women, you gain 20 to 30, 40 pounds of weight. Mm -hmm. Your posture changes. So because of changing your posture, your pelvis little out of alignment. Mm -hmm. I think having back pain, super pubic pain, hip pain are all very normal because your body is under stress mm -hmm. and these the, the joints are working at different angles, mm -hmm. right? That along with other pains like hands, mm -hmm. copper toner syndrome, which is very common in third trimester. But we don't really know exactly why joint pain comes on. Mm -hmm. But if I just think about as a lay person, we're talking about your whole body 24-7 mm -hmm. with added weight, added fluid. Why would I not hurt? Right. Just because yeah. baby's out, all of a sudden I want to be fine? I don't think so. Right. It's like so much physiological change happens after delivery. Yep. I think it takes weeks mm -hmm. to recover. And rheumatoid arthritis, for example, there's a lot of flare-up yep. after delivery. Mm -hmm. So it, there's no specific reason as to why this occurs, but I feel like many of my patients are complaining about it. And often I think why it's happening is less important than treatment. Mm -hmm. By that time, where you can take right. you know, ANSATs to figure out and if it persists more than yeah. typical duration, then you may have to address it with a primary care physician. Right. But right. in most cases, it's not pathological. 